The problem that Egypt is facing today is largely self-inflicted. Its generous energy subsidies continue to fuel wasteful energy consumption in a rapidly growing and already large population. Energy demand is expected to double, while demand for power is expected to triple by 2030 under existing conditions. Meanwhile, domestic energy supplies are struggling to keep up with the rapidly rising demand, and Egypt has therefore to rely uh, increasingly on imports. For example, Egypt currently imports around 70% of its diesel needs, which is sold at very low domestic prices, around 0.18 US dollars per liter, compared, for example, to 2.33 dollars uh, in Turkey. Energy subsidies also weigh heavily on a government budget. They account for 12% uh, of the GDP, the combined expenditure for health, education and defense, uh, half of which goes to uh, the richest 20% of the population. Egyptian governments, former and present, have acknowledged the danger of the situation and have tried to reform their domestic energy pricing strategies since 2004, however, with limited success. Any potential financial, international financial assistance from the IMF will come with strict conditions. These are mainly related to the much needed economic and social reforms and particularly to the gradual removal of energy subsidies. The Egyptian authorities have been trying to increase gradually fuel prices. However, it is politically difficult to remove entitlements once people have become used to them, no matter how economically efficient this may be.